Hi, this is Juan from JuanTutors.com. Welcome to my totally free office hours. Today we're working on the August 2016 New York Geometry Common Core Regions Problem Number 6. Uh, if you want to access these exams, go to nysedregions.org. Click on the appropriate tabs. Uh, so here's the problem. In triangle ABC, where angle C is a right angle, cos A is 21, radical 21 over 5. And what is the value of sine B? Uh, and there's a few answers there. I look at the answers. I see some radicals. Okay. Here's the thing. Just pause the video. Try it on your own uh, and see if you get the same answer. If you didn't pause the video and you're like, I have no clue, then let me give you a hint. You should draw a diagram. And – I bet you once you draw a diagram, you actually can get much farther than you than you were able to before. If you can't get the answer at this point, then the thing is that you you need to remember uh, S O H C A H T O A, uh, so ka toa. So sine theta is equal to opposite the length of the opposite side over the length of a hypotenuse. That's S O H. Um, cos theta is equal to the adjacent side over the hypotenuse, sorry. My, that was an ugly J, over the hypotenuse. And then the tan theta is equal to opposite over the adjacent side. Okay, so if I draw a right triangle as best as I can with angle C being uh, the right angle, and cos A is 20, radical 21 over 5, okay? So I'm going to make A over here, and I'm going to call this angle C, and I'm going to call this angle B, and radical 21 over 5, so I'm going to, so let's see, so cos A is equal to radical 21 over 5. Now, they only want the sine of B. They don't want the length of uh, any of the sides. So in fact, a triangle with the sides of length radical 21 and length 5 uh, and hypotenuse 5 uh, is an adequate triangle to determine the sine of B. So uh, this is opposite. I'm sorry, this is not opposite. It's adjacent over the hypotenuse, right? Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse according to Soka Toa. So I'm going to put here uh, cos A, this is A. Adjacent is this one, radical 21, and 5 would be the hypotenuse. Uh, and let's see if we can get the length of this side. So I got uh, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So let's see. Radical 21 squared plus X squared. Uh, no, sorry, I got the length of the sides in the wrong order. It's x squared plus radical 21 squared equals 5 squared. So x squared plus 21 equals 25. Minus 21, minus 21. I got x squared equals 4. And I got, so x squared equals 4. Take the square root and x equals plus or minus 2, but it's a length, so x equals positive 2. Uh, let's see. So that makes sine B uh, be the opposite over the hypotenuse. Eh, okay, so sine B is opposite over hypotenuse. So a lot of that work was not, in fact, relevant. So sine B is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, but opposite relative to B. Okay, so that's opposite of B, and the, here's the hypotenuse. So in fact, it was equal to uh, radical 21 over 5. Yes. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going. I, I did that calculation. It turned out to be unnecessary, but it was definitely a worthwhile uh, calculation. So I'm, I'm instead of redoing this video, I'm gonna let that go, and hopefully hopefully you can get something out of it. Sine B is opposite of B, which is 20 radical 21, and not hypotenuse of five. So in fact, this is the answer. Okay. Hopefully that was helpful. Let's go on to the next problem, which we created ourselves. Uh, it's a similar problem, but not quite the same. In triangle ABC, where angle C is the right triangle, a right angle, and tan A is radical 21 over 5, and side C is 10, uh, uh, length 10, what is the length of BC? So let's uh, pause the video, try the problem on your own, see if you can get it. Again, a hint, draw the diagram. 
if you can, if you don't draw a diagram, you're really not going to get this answer. Uh, so here's my diagram. I know the right tri I know the right angle is angle C. So I'm going to draw a right triangle, not not necessarily drawn to scale. So this is C, this is A, this is B. Tan A. So again, tan A is equal to opposite over adjacent is equal to uh, radical 21 over 5. Now, in this case, I can't assume that the side length is radical 21 because um, I have an actual length of a side given to me. Side AC is 10. So as a result, I could put an X in front. So opposite of, this, uh, of side A is this side. So I could put... Uh, x radical 21 and I can make the adjacent side relative to a angle a x times 5 and now that ratio is radical 21 over 5 just that the x allows me allows this length to be something other than 5 um, and now ac is equal to 10 ac is equal to 10 which is equal to x times 5 and so I divide by 5 I divide by 5 and I got uh, x equals 2. And they wanted the length of BC. They wanted this length. I know that x is 2. So I know this is 2 times radical 21. Well, that's it. 2 radical 21. Okay? So that's the answer. Uh, okay. So uh, if I hope you understood this question. Definitely takes a little bit more work than the previous problem and a little bit more intuition, especially how to add the, the, the idea that you could add these X values uh, to, the, to the problem. But remember that if you don't know the actual length, but you do know the ratio of the sides, you can always add that X because the ratio of X radical 21 over X times 5 is radical 21 over 5. So you can always insert that variable into a, into a, a figure to make it to make it uh, uh, be uh, an example of all the triangles which are similar to it. Uh, hopefully you uh, understood what we did. Uh, keep working at it. It takes a lot of hard work. Um, stay tuned for the next video starting right now.